Hello lovely people. Um, it's been a while and I really wanted to do another video um, here on YouTube uh, thinking about Easter, which is coming up fast, isn't it? What I'm going to offer you really is uh, something quite meditative and slow. I've been kind of attracted to the idea of kind of slow drawing, slow painting, um, probably because I'm quite slow really <laughs> at the moment. Um, and uh, using that as an opportunity to think about the Easter story in whatever way is helpful to you. So I thought we would paint some Easter eggs um, using watercolour. I don't um, often get my watercolours out, but saying that I'm, I'm probably doing it more and more because they're ideal for this kind of slow, um, gentle, soothing kind of work. We're going to paint some Easter eggs. So these aren't eggs, these are leaves uh, that I did for another project, but it just introduces you to the idea of a basic watercolour shape that you can drop colour into and you can play and have loads of fun with that, as you can see here. I think probably I will keep my eggs a bit simpler than this, um, but you, you just work with a really simple shape like a leaf or I've done pebbles before um, and then you play with the colour inside that shape and then when it's dry we can do some doodling with pens over the top. This is quite cheap watercolour paper. Um, you can use any watercolour paper that you've got or any even some kind of thick card would do the job. And I've got my, these are Winsor & Newton set of watercolours. I've also got these, um, Paul Rubens. These are fluorescent watercolours, which are really super fun. And you probably saw in, on the leaves that I just showed you some of the really zingy yellows and things like that. Um, I've got a swatch card here. Wow, look at these. Because sometimes I feel watercolour can be a bit wishy-washy. So... We could have a little play with those as well. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to just paint. Let's choose a colour to start with. I've got some kind of purpley colour here that I'm drawn to. You don't need to stick to egg colours. Your eggs can be in any colour that you like. Then I'm going to paint a basic egg shape. Doesn't have to be perfect in any way. And then I'm going to quite quickly fill that in with water, just dipping my brush into water. Plenty of water to blend that edge before it dries. And what I'm looking for is more paint gathering at the edges. Because that is what's going to make my egg look three dimensional. And it will dry lighter than what you see here. So that's probably quite sort of egg size, like a chicken's egg, realistic chicken's egg size. That's what I'm going for. Right. Can even drop a bit more water in. See what that does. OK, let's try a more blue colour. get my water so 
you could add a little bit of different colour. If you wanted to, I'm just going to drop some little brown dots in here. Something like that. Now I am not a watercolour expert at all. I'm just telling you what I do. And when you're not hosting lots of people watching on YouTube, you can actually be doing whatever you like with your mind. As you're doing this, you can be listening to some worship music. You can start to think about the Easter story. You can even take some colour up. I'm just using, I'm going to use a tissue just to lift some of that colour there. I like that. Might do that on the other guys as well. Yeah, that's making them look a little bit more three dimensional. So this is just the first stage of our process and you can just use this just to quieten yourself down, to leave the day behind and to prepare your heart really for thinking about the wonderful story and gift that is Easter and then in the second half when we start doodling on these eggs we will start to think more specifically about the events of Holy Week and um what Easter means to us, what the gospel means to us, really. Just dropping some more paint in there to see if I, if I like that effect. You can use any colours you like. Now, if you're not into doing watercolour like this um, and you still want to create a page, then um, you could just cut some egg shapes out of coloured paper, um, plain coloured paper or even um, some kind of subtle patterned paper as well. Um, I want to add a little bit of blue to this one as well. That's fun. It's not quite as bright as I feared. Let's go with a pink as well. Opera rose. Wow. Um, yeah, so there are other ways of getting to where we want to go if you want to miss out this step. But I just think this is a really lovely way, peaceful way. of spending a bit of time and I'm going to aim for probably 12 eggs although on my page I think I'm probably only going to use nine but each egg is going to represent a, a chapter a, a feature in 
the Easter story as you want to tell it. So do more than you need rather than less. Um, so you've got some options, you can choose the ones you like and also it gives you a um, chance to make some mistakes as well. If you get to the doodling stage and you do something that you don't enjoy, you've got extra eggs. Oh, look at that, that it's like a proper pink candy egg. That's fun. And we could drop some, maybe even drop some purple into that. happens why not right so I'm going to um, time lapse what I'm doing now I think because you probably get the idea um, and then I'll meet you for the next stage <laughs> 